old. Uh, Faiz Shakir is the National Political Director for the American Civil Liberties Union. Hey. Good to see you, sir. Hi. All right, I, I guess I'm trying to understand the legal boundaries here. Right. Um, you, you know, I don't want this to be a debate about whether we should be doing right. it. I want to get to whether what's legal and what's not here. Um, Can I raise what, a couple of yeah, issues? What right are they? The yeah. So one is in the questioning that customs would do of any person entering the United States. Are they asking about what's your faith? How often do you pray? What are your ideological views with regards to your religion? We've heard from the press that they are asking those, which is a religious test. So if you go down that road, you've now violated a constitutional you principle. You believe that you ask for it, but if you avoided the religious test. Yes, yeah, so that's one element. Okay, if you avoid that, right. so that would second. keep you off of what you believe would that's be right. a legal problem. Right, the interrogation should be equal, broad base. It shouldn't be looking for Muslims only, which appears to be the case. The second issue that you raise with social media is as you do a search of the phone, are you conducting an unreasonable search, a Fourth Amendment violation? by accessing somebody's email, somebody's private data? Are you going beyond something that should require a warrant in some cases? We believe the Constitution applies to all people. Like you Even visitors freedom, to the United States that are not U.S. citizens. Listen, freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, uh, guarantee of due process, those apply to everyone. Also, uh, you know, we learned this through the uh, military commissions, right, through the Guantanamo trials, that the Supreme Court also believed that non-citizens have rights that are afforded under their Constitution. And we need to re uh, respect that. We need to operate according to that principle. Uh, I, I understand that. So, but let's go to the, to the question of legality yeah. here. Um, you believe they run into legal trouble if it if they dip into religion and and you know that's what they're doing i mean we've already learned in the press that they are asking about what is your faith muhammad ali's son right, right. why is he flagged because of his name and we learned that through their apps on your phone to find, oh, oh, you have a prayer app on your phone. Why would you have a prayer app? This is targeting of Muslims specifically. That is a religious test. And if you get there, then that is what would consider that to be uh, a violation of the Constitution. For sure. That, is, that would be a Muslim ban 3.0. All right. So what is an extreme measure that you believe they could do this legally? Well, it has to be broad based, right? It has to be, has to apply to everyone. And so as you're entering the country, whatever procedures you have in place should not just apply to six countries, Muslims from this part of the region. It should apply to everyone. And what we're learning is the visa restrictions that are happening, the visa denials, they're occurring largely amongst people who are Muslim, who, who have Muslim names, who are coming from Muslim countries. Let me uh, be devil's advocate here. So if they say, we're going to ask everybody their religion when they come in here. Well, so what would that say? Is that is that a would that pass the constitutional test if you're looking for it has to be right. Uh, why, so, why, so here's why. my next question for yeah. you, Chuck: Is so who gets denied? Who, who, who's not your, allowed? What, yeah. Right. What is so, your? Right. And do you think they have to provide that before right. you can find so out Chuck's if it's legal? Chuck says, "Yeah, I, hey, I happen to be a Christian. I say I happen to be Muslim. Hey, Chuck, you're welcome to the United States. Fast, sorry. I mean, we, we just didn't have space for you. What are the legal rights?" for somebody who's not a citizen who has their phone seized. Well, so, so as you go about that process, I think it's important to know that you do have rights and you need to ensure that there are certain things you don't have to respond to. I think giving over your phone, making sure that you don't, you've eliminated some of the apps on your phone if you're going through uh, uh, the security process, don't have your email on there. There's certain basic best practices that you should have to protect yourself because they can, as you said, they can take your phone, they can look at uh, some of your social media stuff. So just delete that information. If we see that they're trying to go into your cloud and try to dig up old stuff, that's going to get into the zone of unconstitutional search. What, all right, but what if they're making the argument this is about protecting the United States? Right. And so how far searching everybody's phone then, if they're searching everybody's phone, Listen. looking for anything that may be, is that allow them to Chuck, pass a constitutional let, let test here? Start I, look, I, 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 I don't this know how they would actually security. do it. I don't know how they would actually do it, but I'm asking you if they uh, first that of all, case. I would just ask you not to believe that this is about national security. We would not have Muslim ban 1.0 and then 2.0 being delayed for press purposes if this was about national security. It is not about national security. This is simply to enact President Trump's political agenda to have a 
total and complete shutdown of all Muslims, Muslims entering the United States. That's what this is about. And understanding that is the first principle upon understanding any of the stuff that they're trying to and, do. And do you believe in any legal challenge to these vetting procedures that that rhetoric That's that right. he said, you believe all of that is going to be admissible and that that will con should contribute to a, a judge's decision on this? It has already been admissible. The judges are already right. using it. They are already telling us that it matters. And I applaud all those judges because that does matter. It, uh, it does. Uh, it, it's an important context into understanding his motives and as he empowers federal agents ice agents cbp agents to go about their process i'm fearful that they also know what their mission is oh it has to be muslims because the president told me that uh, and so you believe that eventually these will be struck down as unconstitutional well i think over time we're going to learn about cases that violate that go over the line and then we'll build a case and we're prepared to take president trump to court as we've done before all right pastor Shakir, may i see you thanks for coming in sharing your views appreciate it